Hi, everybody. I'm Larry Lee. I hail from Akron, Ohio, but I'm not. I'm out here in California now. But you know, I'm trying to. I came out to Hollywood, become a big star, and I'm waiting to get discovered. But I'm still waiting. See, I have these feelings of inadequacy, and I, I had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Dad about it. He said, "Son, how's your love life?" I said, "Well, I'm." So far, I'm lucky in love. I'm single. He said, that's a problem. He said, you're lonely. You've got to get married. You have to lower your standards. I said, Dad, my standards are already low. But after that, I decided to go see a shrink. Because I, I just feel like so inadequate. So I, I went to the secretary. I, I said, you've got to tell the doctor. He's got to help me. I, I feel invisible. She said, doctor, doctor, there's a guy out here that says he's invisible. The doctor said, yeah, well, tell him I can't see him. Then I went to a priest. I, and I said, Father, is it a sin to date a nun? He said, no, my son, it's just as long as you don't get into the habit. And then when I left, the sisters gave me a 21 nun salute. But then I said, I, I need a blonde. So I went to Las Vegas, and there she was on stage, a Marilyn Monroe impersonator. Backstage, I sent candies, flowers, a note. Where, when, how much? She sent back a beautiful perfume and a great reply. Your place tonight, free. So I took her to my no-tell motel, and I got undressed. Now it was her turn. She took off her blonde wig, put it in a drawer. Took off her false eyelashes, put them in a drawer. Took out her false teeth, put them in a drawer. Took out her falsies, put them in a drawer. I didn't know whether to get in the bed or in the drawer. Then she took off her underwear. I said, you're not the girl I remembered. She said, I never was. Turned out to be a college student working his way through college to get a sex change operation. So I donated $50. I wanted to get a sex change. I'd like to get some sex for a change. <laughs>